Welcome to Small Grow Podcast. You are in all about my channel, and today I'm going to talk about the habits of Leonardo da Vinci. And yes, I know everyone, or most of us know, who is Leonardo da Vinci. He is the greatest man who goes at drawing as well as a lot of subjects, right? So yeah. His smart is as smart as Einstein is. So Leonardo da Vinci is the one who master at a lot of subjects. For example, like drawing or even the biology or else. So yeah, here's are the simple habits that he adopted while living his life. Accomplishing most of the thing that he desires, and I would love to share with you guys today because if the greatest man like Leonardo da Vinci does this, it means that it's gonna be some habits that we could adopt in order to improve our daily life for sure. Let's get started. The first one is keeping a diary. So, because thoughts comes and go, right? And if you can actually note your thoughts or keep a diary with you any time, everywhere you go, you're gonna have a lot of mindset or a lot of creative thoughts that come wandering. While you are walking or even doing something that might not expect it to come, right? So, Leonardo da Vinci is the one who master daily, and he loves sketching, observation, and journal, and all it's called codex. Also, Leonardo da Vinci. Coded in his language in order to prevent when it is stolen by someone, and I have been mentioning about journaling a lot in my small growth podcast. That writing is something that we can improve ourselves through, and it costs nothing. So yeah, I think adopt. This habits in your life will help you clear your mind as well as note down any ideas that comes into your mind right away. The next habits is walking in nature, and he believes that contact with nature enhance his creativity. And he also wrote in his diary that walking allowed him to renew his mind. So yeah, science recommends that to achieve ten thousand steps a day in order to maintain our health, and I think it's pretty much worth doing it as the daily mission because in order to maintain your healthy lifestyle. You gonna be able to live longer, or, okay, I would say you gonna be able to have higher percent chance to live longer. However, another benefit of walking in the nature is that you gonna be with the place and moment, be with your mind. Like the Leonardo da Vinci said, is the way to renew the mind as well. So, following the previous habit while walking, remember to bring a small notebook with you, so you could be able to jot it down all of the creative thoughts that comes while you're wandering. And the last step or the last habit of Leonardo da Vinci that he. Valued is observation, and he said, "This art is 
the art that he believed it was the key to understand the world around us. And like I said, he sketched a lot, he draw a lot, he jotted down all of the thoughts, and by observing, he gonna be able to connect the dot for anything that happens around him. Because of this behavior, you will be able to see the link between the things around you. And this will help you improve your critical skill, um, critical thinking skill, I mean, or even the way to understand the world better. You will be able to see the whole scene of life. For example, if you are on the if you are in the difficult situation if you observe people around you you're gonna be able to notice that everyone confronts any situation that might be difficult as well so yeah observe the world around us allows us to be able to understand the outside world as well as the inside world better and yeah that's all for today i think it's pretty fun reading this article and it's named this simple habits of Leonardo da vinci can improve your life from the writer's path i found this article in medium and i will leave the link in the description box for you guys if someone's who want to read it further And that's all for today. Thank you for your listening. See you soon.